Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Fizzing Bob and in today's video I am going to go through a build I originally made on a patron server called Avotopia. This server is run by some wonderful and helpful mods and owned by a legendary Minecraft YouTuber, Avomats. Check out his channel in the link below. The brief on the server was to create a medieval build that would fit into a 16 by 16 blocks, also known as a one chunk build. I decided to do something a bit different and went with an hourglass design that has different floors and because of the height it would have an observation platform to view the other builds within the community. So today's build I am going to walk through the design. So let's kick things off and look at the blocks used. On screen now is a list of blocks and their quantities used within the build. Now it is only a guide and because everyone is different, some people like other blocks more than the ones used here. Hence the blocks can be replaced with ones that you prefer. Ok, let's get started then. The foundations are made up of four squares that are five by five blocks. Each square is connected in the middle by six blocks. The floor is now being added to the foundations. This is a mixture of different types of wood. Stripped dark oak, stripped birch wood and oak slabs. In the centre are four glazed terracotta blocks to break up the wood. Now the walls are going up, four times dark oak wood pillars are placed on all corners of the perimeter and then connected at the top to form the outline of the next floor. To give the walls more depth, smooth stone stairs are placed around the bottom part of the perimeter, in between the dark oak pillars. On the top part of the perimeter, the stairs are placed upside down. Glass panes are used to fill the gap in between the stairs. The next floor is now being filled using the same wood as the lower floor. The start of the supports are being placed to hold the glass sphere. Now the glass is being added. The sphere is made up using a pattern that is generated on a website called plots.com. See the link in the description below. Each sphere has a diameter of 16 blocks. As you can see now, the sphere is taking shape.
Before topping off the first sphere, a combination of sand and sandstone blocks are used to cover up the glass to make two hidden floors. Wood is now being placed to mark out the hidden floors within. Each next level blocks are placed such that they taper in to form a pyramid. Sandstone is used to make it look like the sand is falling between the spheres. Now work is started on the second sphere. This follows the same pattern as the first. The second sphere is filled in with sand. The sand is placed to mimic it being drawn into the center where the hole is that links both spheres. The torches are placed to stop mob spawning and to give the hourglass a glow at night. Time to work on the hidden floors by filling them in and lighting them up. Also to add a ladder that will connect all floors. Now the four main hourglass pillars are placed. These will be the supports of the spheres. The middle of each pillar is left hollow to be able to run a ladder in between them. The pillar height is determined by the top of the second sphere. This will make up the penthouse area where the top of the second sphere will be part of the floor so that it is possible to look down into the hourglass. The penthouse follows the same as the ground floor, four squares, five by five block layout. The floor is filled in using the same wood types as used on the other floors as well. With the floor done, the main support pillars can be finished off. Pillars are now being placed to form the walls. The 
Smooth sandstone stairs and glass panes are used in the same way as on the ground floor to form the walls. A ladder is now fitted to connect the ground floor all the way up to the penthouse. The ceiling slash roof is being filled in. On the top here will be a lookout platform. At this height this will give fantastic views overlooking the area. Using fence posts to support the lookout platform with fence posts coming off to hang lanterns from. Finally, the platform is topped off with a roof made of dark oak slabs. The main build is complete, so the next thing to do is to work on the entrance. The porch is brought out from the front doors using sandstone blocks and the area is levelled. A nearby hole is filled with water, potential to make it into a water feature later. Some bushes are now added and some fence posts to hang lights from. Red stained glass is used to give a more decorative look to the entrance. Decorative fencing and a path is added from the porch using a mixture of stone blocks and podsley. Fence posts and lanterns are added to the outside walls, lighting up the build. And that is it.
Okay, so that was the build. Let's go in and have a look around. Here is the path with the different types of blocks. The red stained glass windows with the lanterns hanging from them to make it look more decorative. Right, let's go through and have a look at the ground floor. Okay, so this is the ground floor and as you can see there is plenty of space to build whatever you like here. Okay, these uh, corners could be turned into uh, a kitchen, bedroom, storage area, study, etc. The possibilities are endless. It's up to you to, to however you would imagine decorative or, or using this area. In this corner, we have uh, the ladder that goes all the way up to the penthouse. But before we go up there, let's take a look at the hidden floors. The viewpoint halfway up the ladder. This is the first hidden floor, very compact. Oops, struggling to get off the ladder. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, as you can see, the sand blocks uh, covering up all the glass. This is so that from the outside, it looks all like it's all sand. Okay, up to the next floor. As you can see, it's similar size to the first. Uh, because this is the top, we are using sandstone to support the sand on top of it, so that this room is, looks hidden from the outside. Okay, and now up we go to the hourglass itself, and to the sands of time. Wow, yeah, look at these views. They're impressive. I love it up here. Okay, so there, this is the first sphere, as you can see, and then up there, look at that. That's the second sphere, and you can see the sand. This it makes it all worthwhile um, persevering with building the sphere itself. It can be quite difficult at times um, working with glass spheres. Okay, let's um, now make our way to the penthouse. Let's climb down the ladder, and off we go. Down one ladder and then up another. God, this is going to be a bit of a climb. Bear with us. Look like there's a light at the end of the tunnel to this uh, climb. The views are going to be spectacular from the top of here. And here we are at the top. This is it. Look at the shadow this um, build is casting. Wow. Wow, look at the views from here. I mean, just imagine waking up to this every morning. Okay, admittedly that the, your world will be very blocky, but um, yeah, it, it looks quite impressive from here. And over here, look, yeah, you can actually see straight down into the hourglass. Okay, up to the lookout before the sun sets. Here we are. At the top on the roof, again some stunning views. And over there is the lookout platform. More stunning views. Let's go over to the ladder and go up. Now we're on the lookout um, platform you see the sun setting over there and the moon rising over there better close that trap door in case we fall down it oh, well the sun's gone down so we can't really see much from up here we better make our way back down yep yeah i struggle with getting on ladders i can't quite get them first time Yep, take another look at the um, into the hourglass. As you can see now, it's lit up. Yep, 
Okay, down we go. I guess what you can do to, as a change to this build is to make one side um, a water column going up and then just a drop down. Uh, that would make it a lot easier to get from the top to the bottom. Right, we're now back on the ground floor. Okay, so well, that's the end of the tour. We've seen the build from top to bo bottom. I hope you've liked it. If you did, yeah, please leave a like. And um, if you like the content I make, please uh, subscribe to the channel and be updated whenever I release a video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again. Bye.